during the work week, I commute up to downtown Seattle for my day job. So Monday through Friday, I'm up here. And I actually have a little bit of a confession to make to you guys. I have a slight addiction problem with something that I'm picking up at all the street corners here in Seattle. It's costing me a lot of money. It's not necessarily good for my health. And it's just becoming a problem. And that problem is food trucks. That's right. I am completely addicted to the Seattle food trucks. SeattleFoodTruck.com lists all of the different food trucks that are available in the Seattle area by different days. And there's a variety of different trucks that you can go visit to. Some of the ones that I visit are the best Cajun food in Seattle, Jamil's Big Easy, the taco truck, how the pickle got out of the jam, two different Thai trucks, hey, nice generator, cheese wizards, As you can see, there are so many great choices that I could go to during lunchtime. The only problem with this is that it's costing me a little bit of money. For example, every time I go to one of these food trucks, it's costing me around $10. So on average per week, I'm spending around 50 bucks on lunch. And that's just getting to be a little bit too expensive. That's money I could be using for prepping. So what I'd like to do is at least start bringing my lunch to work for a few of the days, maybe three days, and cut down my food truck spending to around $20. So what's that gonna mean for me? Mo prepping, mo prepping, mo prepping. So what I need to do to solve this little problem is start bringing a lunch to work. So what I need is a lunchbox. This is my EDC lunchbox, or everyday commuter lunchbox. And it's what I bring with me uh, to work when I decide not to go to one of those food trucks that you saw earlier. This is a great little lunchbox. It's made by a company called Picnic Time. It's the Picnic Time Pranzo Insulated Lunch Tote. It features two main compartments, a top compartment and a bottom one. The top one's for cold items, the bottom one's for insulated items. It also has a pocket on the side here, pocket on the side here, a nice carry strap, a nice handle, and also a little utensils pocket that you see here. So for this particular video, we're gonna go through all the items that I carry in my lunch box. I like going with kind of a bento style approach. So I have a few different configurations of modules for the inside of the lunch box. Yeah, I said it, modules. So let's get started with this video featuring the EDC lunch box. The Pranzo Insulated Lunch Tote is a perfect size for hungry guys as well as people that are in the office for a long period of time and might need to have multiple meals. Uh, here's a little tape measure here to give you a frame of reference on the size. Also here's a little soda can. So you can see it's quite a big lunch box, although it's not too big. Uh, you could fit you know, three cans of soda in that top compartment uh, with no issues. So it's made of a really nice material. Uh, it's, it seems very durable. I haven't had any kind of problems with it. Uh, the stitching is nice on here. A little close up. It has a nice handle on it. It's padded. Uh, the strap is also uh, it's adjustable. I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, very comfortable. So let's start going through the side pockets. So in these side pockets, you can store a variety of different things. I like choosing items for cleaning. So I have some wet, in, wet ones, individual packs, and I use this for cleaning some of the containers inside of the lunchbox. If you wanted to, you could also store maybe some uh, candy bars or instant oatmeal or something like that in these side pockets, they're mesh pockets. And then I also have some hand sanitizer just for cleaning your hands afterwards. So the best part about this lunch tote is by far this front little pocket, which we're gonna go into now. I have a little tape measure here. So when you open it up, this is actually your utensils pocket. And it has a utensil set, so a fork, knife, and spoon. Also have a napkin, and then a salt and pepper shaker, which is just really, really cool to have on you. So the, when, you, when you open this up, you're gonna be the, the hit in your office or wherever you happen to be eating your lunch at. Uh, these utensils aren't the best quality in the world. They're just, you know, cheap utensils, but they fit, uh, they work, and I haven't decided to replace them with anything fancier because well, why, why should I if they work that good? So uh, the napkins, you know, it's a napkin. And these are just real, it's real handy to have salt and pepper with you when you're having your lunch. I, uh, it's just really, really cool. So it's an awesome feature of the Picnic Time Pronto. Let's start going through the top and bottom compartments. Let's start going through the items here in the top compartment. So opening it up, I have a few different items in here. Let's take the large one out first. This is the Stay Fit Deluxe Salad Kit. 
It's made by Easy Freeze. It's a, I'm trying to eat more salads during the week, you know, it's generally healthy to have salad. So this one's really cool. Let's open it up. And as you see here, you have, you know, three different, uh, you know, kind of storage areas for items of your salad. It kind of looks like the old school Simon game. Uh, and then you have your side of your dressing that you could store here. So, and then when you open it up, this is where you actually have your lettuce and maybe other kind of large items. So, like if you want to make a chicken Caesar salad, you'd have your shredded lettuce in here. It might be in a Ziploc bag, maybe some the chicken, shredded chicken in there, also in a Ziploc bag. And then on these, you could have some Parmesan cheese, maybe a lemon slice, and some croutons. So you would just put your salad dressing into the bowl, put all the contents in it, put the lid back on, shake it up, and then you have a great tossed salad that's just going to be nice and fresh for you at lunch. So uh, the Stay Fit Salad Kit, really cool. So this next item here, it's kind of simple, but it's really, really cool. It's probably my most favorite item out of this lunchbox. This is the Thermos Stainless Steel Can Insulator. It's really awesome. It's very simple. All it's supposed to do is keep your cans of soda cold uh, throughout the day or when you're drinking it. So if you have this stored in the refrigerator, for example, uh, when you get to the office, put this uh, thermos in there. Uh, and then when it's time to actually drink it, your soda, or if you're a beer drinker, hopefully not at work, uh, it's just going to be ice cold the whole time that you're drinking it. The entire time. It's going to be like you just took it out of uh, a cooler full of ice. It's really, really awesome. I, I recommend this little thing. It's kind of expensive. It's around 18 bucks, but man, is it cool. Everyone that's tried it loves it that I've tried it out with. So uh, again, this is the Thermos Insulated Can Cooler. So for you soda drinkers or beer drinkers, hopefully you're not drinking beer out of a can, and, but if you do, get this thing. All right, let's move on to the bottom compartment. So opening it up, as I mentioned earlier, I like going with a bento style approach for this particular compartment. This is a Pyrex food container. This is the Pyrex No Leak Lid Rectangular Food Container. This one's the six cup version. Uh, it's a great food container. It's glass, which I, I like using, especially for microwaving. I, I don't feel comfortable microwaving plastic. So this glass one works really well for that. It has a no leak lid, which helps so nothing's gonna really spill in there. And it comes in a few different sizes. So this is the six cup version. You could also get uh, a three cup rectangular version. And you could fit both the six cup and the three cup in there with no problem. So if you want to have breakfast with one and then have the second one for lunch, that works just fine. It also comes in a round configuration. So I like these, they don't spill at all. Uh, it's, you know, it has a lot, have a lot of different food options that you could bring and it works really well. So when I go with this round configuration, I could also go with a different style of approach. So it also allows me to bring some kind of soup. So this is the Thermos Stainless King 16 ounce food jar. It's in a midnight blue. It's a really great food jar. It keeps everything nice and warm uh, during the day or it, actually cold if you wanted to as well. So if you wanted to bring any kind of soup with you and then maybe in this container have some kind of a uh, rice with meat on it. So I just have a few more items in this insulated compartment. Starting off first, this is uh, made by uh, Sea to Summit. This is a Sea to Summit X mug. It's just a small little mug that expands out. It's, this is meant for backpacking, but I use it for my lunchbox. And I like bringing some uh, instant oatmeal with me sometimes. So this is organic kind. And it fits really uh, nice and neat into this little bowl. So the Sea to Summit X mug bowl. Let's see. Sometimes, as I mentioned, I like bringing some kind of Asian food. So I wanted to have some chopsticks with me. These are uh, Amico Phoenix print. Red square top tapered stainless steel chopsticks pair. So there's some great chopsticks. Uh, you know, you could wash them, reuse them all the time. And everyone, it's nice to have them when you, uh, for certain food items. So I just keep them in there. So some chopsticks. And then uh, last, I have a little knife in there. So I have a, this is made by Xylus. This is the Xylus paring knife. It's the 3.5 inch. It's a great little paring knife that I use for cutting up uh, apples, maybe avocado, uh, just so I don't have to get my main knife all you know, sticky from food or anything like that. So uh, this is the Xylus paring knife. It's a great little knife. Check it out if you get a chance. And those are all the items that I keep inside the insulated compartment. That's gonna do it for this video featuring my everyday commuter lunchbox. I've been really happy with this setup so far. I've been bringing it to work with me multiple times during the week, and it's allowed me to have various configurations for lunch. So I could bring leftovers or prepared lunches. It's helping cut down costs, which I could then use for prepping. So I've included a PDF of all the items that you see here in the description box below. So feel free to download that.
hope you guys enjoyed watching this video featuring the EDC Lunchbox. Please feel free to leave any kind of comments below in the comment section, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.